guys welcome to my channel we are approaching the end of the year so in today's video i wanted to share with you my top 10 favorite things that i've loved this year ranging from fashion beauty home to self-care these are things that brought me joy and elevated my lifestyle overall they are timeless items so i'm sure they'll remain in my favorites as we move on to the next year as well so let's get started first i want to introduce you to the self-care brand necessaire I first discovered them through Instagram ads and love their minimal and clean branding. I've tried these four products from the brand so far and two of them made it onto my favorites. The first favorite is the hand cream. I have extremely dry hands but also don't like it when a hand cream is too oily. This fragrance free hand cream gives you the perfect amount of moisture without being greasy at all. I especially love that this one is fragrance free because I can apply as much and as often as I want without the scent being too overpowering. The formula is rich in peptide, niacinamide, and multivitamins, which makes it great for treating and nourishing dryness. The consistency is also very light and absorbs almost instantly into your skin. My second favorite product from this brand is the Body Exfoliator. I've been on the lookout for the perfect one for ages, and I've tried so many different products from Amazon, but nothing really impressed me. And then one day, I finally decided to splurge on this one from Necessaire. This is available in four different scents, and I went for the eucalyptus scent. I love how refreshing it smells in the shower, and the texture of the little exfoliant beads were non-abrasive for my sensitive skin. The gel consistency also makes it so easy and pleasant to rinse off. I use this about 2-3 to three times a week and it for sure leaves my skin extra smooth and evens out my skin's texture. This is a product that I for sure know that I will continue to use for years ahead and I really hope they don't stop making this. And while I'm at it, I'll quickly show you two more products from Necessaire that I've tried this year. These were also great products that I've certainly enjoyed using but I'm not sure if they're actually worth the money. This is their fragrance-free deodorant, which has worked well for me, but honestly didn't find anything special about it. I feel like there are so many other affordable options out there that could easily replace this one. And the last item is their body serum. I actually got this full-size bottle as a gift with purchase of the body exfoliator and I found it to be a great product as well. The serum is very lightweight and it absorbs really well into my skin and it will definitely make a great splurge item. But as someone that gets lazy with even putting on body lotion sometimes, I just didn't find it necessary to add to my everyday routine. Overall, I love what this brand stands for and I highly recommend all of their products. My third favorite is this face moisturizer. It's the Barrier Derm Intensive Cream from Skin and Lab and this has worked great for me for the colder, drier winter days. I have dry, acne prone, sensitive skin and this has really helped me with hydrating my skin without it being too oily and most importantly, didn't cause any breakouts. I also love that it comes in a tube that you can just squeeze out as opposed to jars or bottles because I find this to be the most hygienic. The cream itself is very lightweight and it absorbs very quickly into your skin without leaving any grease or shine behind. This cream leaves my skin hydrated all day and even works great under makeup. I highly recommend this product to anyone with dry, sensitive skin. My fourth favorite is this multivitamin supplement from Athena Club. It's called the Daily Multi and it's non-GMO, cruelty-free, and vegan. The capsules consist of essential ingredients like vitamins, omega-3, magnesium, and boron that most American women lack to help build a better long-term health foundation and fill the gaps in my diet. I also love the glass bottle packaging and the super aesthetic yellow capsules that are just so pleasant to look at. While I still do take some of these other supplements sometimes depending on how I feel each day, this multivitamin has replaced a lot of them. I also love that the capsules have a slight peppermint scent which makes it so much more pleasant to swallow. I'm not the best at swallowing large pills but this one is the perfect size and the dual capsule technology reduces any nausea while helping your body absorb the nutrients much more efficiently. I take two capsules daily with water and this multivitamin has been a great addition to my everyday routine making me feel healthier and stronger each day.
Now moving on to some fashion items. My fifth favorite is this neck warmer from JW Anderson. Some of you may have already seen it multiple times in my outfit vlogs as this is by far my most worn fashion accessory this year. This cute little item has replaced scarves in many of my outfits as this is so much lighter and much more comfortable. I love that you can easily take it off with the zipper when you are indoors or keep it on to create a turtleneck look when worn with crewneck sweaters. This is available in several different colors and patterns but I kept it minimal with the charcoal color and rib texture to go well with a lot of my sweaters. This neckband is 100% wool which makes it so warm and it's not itchy at all. My sixth favorite is this bucket hat from Jacques Mousse. This bucket hat has been my go-to hat this year for completing my casual outfits or even on bad hair days. The same hat is also available in several colors but I got it in black to go well with a lot of my black or neutral outfits. I love how put together it makes you look and I receive a lot of compliments on this hat every time I go out in it. It is made of sturdy cotton which gives it the perfect structure without it being too flimsy and the simple logo detail is a nice additional touch. The back also has this nice ribbon detail that gives it a more feminine look. My seventh favorite are these Ugg boots. As you probably already know, Ugg boots have made a major comeback this year and with the rise of loungewear, these boots have been my go-to pair of shoes lately. I got it in the Ultra Mini, which is a shorter version of the classic Uggs, and I'm very happy with my choice. I wear them with everything ranging from sweatpants, jeans, and even leather pants. I sized down for these as I heard that they do stretch over time and these fit me perfectly. They keep my feet so warm even during the brutal winter days in New York. My eighth favorite is an item from the kitchen. It's the Hario V60 pour over coffee kit that my friend gifted me. The kit includes a ceramic dripper, a glass pot, some coffee filters, and a measuring spoon. I've been using the Nespresso coffee machine for years because I found that to be the most convenient, but once I got my hands on this pour over kit, I couldn't go back. There is definitely a learning curve for making pour over drip coffee and I'm still learning, but I found it to be so interesting how the coffee tastes so different every time depending on your brewing method. I'm not a coffee expert, but the coffee definitely tastes much fuller and fragrant than a quick cup of Nespresso. The whole brewing process takes about 5 minutes, which could be considered a long time on busy mornings, but I actually found it to be quite meditating to watch the coffee collect over time, so I don't mind the time investment. Learning different methods and making myself a cup of pour over coffee each day has been one of my favorite and most productive hobbies this year. My ninth favorite is a home decor item. It's this portable lamp that my sister-in-law gifted us as a wedding gift. It's from a brand called Ann Tradition and I'm so in love with the adorable mushroom shape and the colors that go really well with the mid-century modern furniture that we have in our apartment. It is not only a great home decor item but also a very functional one. There are three different brightness settings which is also very useful depending on what I need the lamp for. This lamp is rechargeable with a USB cord and is completely wireless which makes it so portable around the house. It's been especially nice to take this lamp next to my bed which allowed me to read more before bed and fall asleep right away because I always hated having to get up again to turn off the lights before I fall asleep. My 10th favorite is a book titled The Screwtape Letters by the author C.S. Lewis. I was gifted this book in Korean so I read it in Korean but the novel is also available in English and other languages. 
I don't want to spoil the book too much, but the book basically consists of letters written from a senior demon named Screwtape to his nephew Wormwood, who is a junior demon. Through these letters, we learn about temptation and how demons interact with humans to stray them away from their worst enemy, who is God. This book has definitely shed a new perspective for me and overall gave me a new, healthier mindset that has allowed me to overcome negative thoughts and feelings that might consume me each day. So that is it for my 10 favorite items of 2021. I hope you can take away some things from this list and try them out for yourself. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and I hope you have a wonderful rest of the year and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!